Hello, my name is Olivia Deventi with Market Education for Kimball Office. And in this module, just want to discuss the basics of 2020 Worksheet. So in looking at 2020 Worksheet, there's a series of columns that will pop up by default. I'm going to recommend a couple of columns just to kind of make the information on the worksheet appear a little bit more readable. So first, of course, you've got your item column with your numbers to select how many items that you have in your quote. Second, you have the ability to log an item. Simply left click in that box and that item will be locked. I do want to point out that just because you've locked it doesn't mean you can't click again and unlock it. So this feature can sometimes present a challenge. If you have any item that has a special detail about it, you'll want to select the flag to flag that item for the person who gets this quote behind you. It does not hurt the item in any way. It's just kind of like something to say to the next person, there's something special about this. Uh, there's also a feature called Preview. Now, Preview for Kimball Office products, if you select this box, you'll notice that this item will come up um, in hidden line. You could also do shaded. Hidden seems to work the best, so once you've got that up, um, you can say update all. It'll flash those items. You can close that box and you'll notice that now the item appears in your uh, bill of materials as a reference. So the preview column is just great to let someone know what each of the items are in a quote because sometimes a drawing is a little bit cumbersome uh, if you're not familiar with looking at them. So next we have our manufacturer, which is Kimball Office in this instance, followed by catalog. Then we have quantity. Uh, quantity will always vary, of course, but quantity is relative to the part number. Now the part number that you see here shown in white is called a base model number. That's the item that you are selecting. However, the finishes that you select uh, will drive changes in that model number. So for example, uh, an S refers to the rim profile, which is knife. Um, as you kind of carry this down, you'll notice that there's um, standard paint colors that are used automatically with a product. So think of the section in white as the base model number, and then all your options that you've selected as the total model number. Uh, the next column is called option group. I'm going to recommend that you bring up option group for all of the quotes that you do. The reason why is imagine a quote, I'm going to narrow this row here, imagine a quote that went from part number to part description. How do you know what S knife means? So that's why option group is so important because it gives you that description that S refers to rim profile which is knife. Then we're going to carry over to part description. Now part description again in white focuses on the description of that item but you actually have it written in verbiage that number 456 paint color is granite. So again you can identify with the color granite as opposed to the number 456 unless your price list is handy. We're following down this quote to the next section called unit list. Now the reason unit list is important as opposed to list is let's say a finish has been selected that has an upcharge associated to it. Where you see these individual zeros called out, that upcharge will be associated to that finish, which is going to change the list for that item. And because price lists are open to the public, uh, they might have a question, why is this $20, $50, or $100 more than what your price list shows? So again, just want to point out that with the price list, um, having that information available for all to see, it's just easier to explain where additional costs come into the consumer. Uh, then it's followed by the list column with extended list. Extended list again just shows you the multiplier of those individual items. We have the sell price if there's any discount associated as well as extended sell for those duplicate items or not shouldn't say duplicate but the additional items that are available. Uh, then we finally wrap up with catalog order. Catalog order with Kimball Office products simply tells you the position of that item in the catalog. We'll have a catalog that has 200 pages but that item might be number 500 within the 200 pages. So it's an easy way to group like items together so you can easily check your quote and identify that all the parts and pieces are there in making a complete order. These are the recommended uh, columns 
for doing a basic quote, especially for checking, uh, not necessarily for the sales portion, but just to identify those basic items and get some rough numbers. If you have any questions about additional columns that uh, you might like or just general information on 2020 worksheet quotes with Kimball Office, please feel free to give me a shout. My name is Olivia Deventi and my email address is olibiadeventi at kimball.com. A-L-I-B as in boy I-A dot D-E-V-E-N-T-E at kimball.com. Thanks and have a great day.